but from this point we're gonna have time for now. I'll have to come back later. I I probably say after the third gen we'll stop by and see if I can do anything in the restaurant. But besides that, here we are in the in the gala mine. Just kind of mining things out. Not, not, not really mining, but still. And um, you again. I'd feel I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in the. In a battle against the low-level opponents, I'm not in the mood to deal with weak things right now. Then again, I suppose the form mercy to curse weak opponents early on. If you're under the if you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you'd be up for a Pokemon battle. It's utterly unconvincible that I, the trainer chosen by the chairman, will lose. Okay, I mean, if you're really that confident that you'll win, then we're well, whatever. Just kind of huff out right there, and you think you're superior than me. I want to teach you, want to teach you a lesson. <laughs> so yeah, we, we have the fight against that egg right here, or second fight against them really. And this is the reason why I gave Britain all the black glasses, just so I can power up power crunch, crunch right here. Only a only a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Um, but for the most part right here, um, Dreadnought is going to be sweeping through his team. He's not going to stand a chance. Dreadnought has pretty good attack, as it is. I gave it Black Ops, so, so Crunch is going to be doing even more damage, and these are on a ball mods that we're up against right here. And thanks to Dreadnought's speed being pretty good, despite having minus minus speed nature, it's able to outspeed most of his mods. There's one in particular that he's not gonna outspeed, but it shouldn't but not that mod in particular shouldn't really be able to do much of anything. It shouldn't be able to whatsoever. In fact Rory has last mod right here, which being Pony Tom. Excellent. Not everyone can corner to my team like this. Dude, you have not landed a single hit against me yet. You have been cornered for a long time, man. Well, same that much right there. And speaking of which, you got a hit off me. Congratulations. You've you can earn you have a you can be proud of that. However, you're not gonna be proud for the fact that you just lost right here. You showed up you showed at least a little outfit. So I decided to let you win. Sure. 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 Ah, pardon me. It seems I might take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you've at least tried. Excuse me! Who's the one that crunched you up like it's nothing? Excuse me! Get out of here! Anyways, there's a fishing spot right here, which is our only source of getting a um, random encounter. So, we're gonna get our encounter right here. So, what are we getting? Getting ourselves a barboach. Which is actually not a bad mod whatsoever. It ain't bad. It can do some pretty good... It's typing is really good, and that's a reason enough to that's reason enough alone to to use it. And because it's probably like the last model, probably be kept catching it in the fishing spot, I'll actually catch no warble. Because why not? Might as well make it useful. But again, just in terms of typing, it's really good. And I like to say it has pretty good HP, not bad attack, and just not bad stats just in general. I do have Dreadnought, however, and I already have a ground type, so I'm probably not going to use it unless I lose any of them, but if anybody wants me to nickname this thing all the same, I'm open for that. So, let's send it to the box for now. And we're just going to go from there. Now, 
I'm gonna have Poseidon out for a bit as he is as she is pretty close to a level. And we got these little pesky uh, stun fist right here. Stun fist can be pretty dangerous to go up against around this point in the game, but there is a trade off for doing it. Um, for taking them down. Jeez, we're taking them down. That trade off being is that they give out a lot of experience. No joke. They give a lot. So it's a it's a risk slash reward kind of thing, and Poseidon will actually be able to deal with this thing just fine. Despite being still in ground type, it does know some degree of Excuse me. Um it does know some degree of electro type moves, so red not some so uh, It'll at least be immune to that and be able to do the thing just in general. So any stun fist I'll be encountering in front this um uh, front this cave, I'll I'll take I'll take the opportunity to go over and kill it. As once again they do get a lot of experience, as shown right there. That's about a good 700 experience just for the Poke Brothers that went against it. And about a good almost about 400 experience for everybody else. Which is helpful. Especially around this point in the game. So, we're gonna be exploring the mine. Right here, like, 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 I mean, not, not like we're already doing that already, but that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we have a carnival. Good old unique typing of Fire Rock. And, when I'm thinking about it, Fire Rock is something that I don't think existed until this time. I might be incredibly wrong, and there might be a Pokemon out there that... Actually, no, wait, what, what, what am I saying? There's Mercargo. That was Fire Rock. <laughs> what am I saying? There were things that already existed, just, and that one in particular didn't really... wasn't really all that good. Okay, so never mind. It, it's, it's a rare typing out, nonetheless, though. Like, I can get away with that, at least. Okay. <laughs> After an interruption into another interruption... <laughs> Okay, no, I'll, 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 I'll kind of compensate for this one. Just, why not, really? Um, <laughs> yes, here. Yeah. I'm just gonna go over Beldos here twice, and then call it from there. Also, uh, we did get some levels during that. Um, particularly, ow! That's another reason why stuff is are so pretty are pretty dangerous around this point, and I was actually kind of wrong about it. Knowing any electric electric news doesn't get any for level up. I thought it did, but it doesn't. But that's another reason why stuff is are dangerous to go against is because they do have pretty good defense, at least around this point in the game. And not only that, but they do have revenge. So be careful when you're going up against one of these. I'll say it, I'll say that much right there. Be careful. Um, I'll use I'll use like I'll use my potions right here because my because, I mean I, I might as well use them just for small hearing healing. I don't need to use I know don't need to go over and use my supers yet. It's not really necessary. It's just not. And we can go against the rock and roller right here. Just kind of roll out the stones right here, and we're just gonna kick it. <laughs> just in case it has sturdy, or just in case it has weak armor. Either way, it's gonna die this turn. It's not gonna survive, despite the fact that it's just got a massive speed buff. Well, congratulations, they're still hopping out the dead train, anyways. I hope you, I hope you love the ghost train. <laughs> And the ghost stream is gonna have a lot of stuff to collect over time <laughs> by the end of this. Kind of more thinking about it. Like, jeez, it actually does have one of it. <laughs> I'm switching out the Vika Vault so I can easily take down the Timber. I mean, Corpus Fire might have been able to do it also, but once again, Timber's handler moves, and I don't want to take my chances. Spike for the fact that I'm taking my chance right here with Vikavolt. Vikavolt, I at least know, will be able to one-shot it no problem. 
and timbers aren't exactly fast either. So I can at least get away with that. Anyways, let's get ourselves a grip claw right here, which is not a bad item in particular. And let's get, and let's run into our 8 million bear trap at this point. After that fight, um, Mill Street did get a level and is in skin they tracked, which I'll get rid of Sweet Scent for it for now. I don't know, just someone has something sweet to use or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Find something that'll work. And more tea yellow. And more tea and yellow for us. Fun. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're the one taking part of the gym challenge, right? Frankie. That's really something. I love the battle against a Green Giant like you. Um, sure. <laughs> Surrounded by adoring friends, eh? You'll even show them pretty soon. Wow. Hmm. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? You're going to disrupt us or something like that? Hmm. This is for lives. I guess I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> gym challengers. Oh, then but the gym challenge is no joke. Okay, yellow. Eh! Yellow! Yellow! Eh! I'm also screaming. Not uh, how bad that part. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. Why? Well, I mean, I, I mean, there's like, there can be the occasional bad part that I might actually kind of groan. <laughs> Again, because it's just really that bad. But besides that, mm. anyways, um, we got a feeble, and we got our smoke, and we got a high noon. Um, actually, I probably should have—I probably should have targeted the the feeble because that snarl will hit for quite a bit. Though, I mean, it's more of a priority for me to take down the high noon as. It does have Night Flash, and it has a pretty high chance of critting. So, I don't want you. I don't want to deal with it. I'd rather not. Let's say that much right there. Get ourselves a level where we're at it, and getting high horse power! This is definitely better than Baldo's, though it has a lower... Hmm. I'll teach it anyways, as it is a better move to have the 5% chance a missing is gonna kind of irk me a bit, but it's just kind of whatever. And hop, dude, that can do so much more damage. You have potential to be really good with that, and you just not really whatsoever. You send out your panchum. We'll do some high horsepower against it. I don't know. This is evil. Shouldn't be too much of a threat. Hopefully, uh, I truly don't. I truly do hope. Geez, I truly do hope it's not, uh, it's not gonna be that big of a threat. But chances of least is at least now. So we only have to deal with one mod at this point. Well, they're not surviving a mod is a question. And you know, I'll I'll, I'll, keep, I'll let Hop keep kind of having at it against the Steeble. No, I'm gonna just restore some health, but I'm not taking any chances. I'll use one of my suppressions right here, just like to kind of heal up a little bit. It's like, is I really do not want to lose Poseidon. Poseidon is a great mind, and I do not want to lose her. She would be the last person that I want to lose. Well, I'm actually, not, uh, I guess not, not the last person, but she's definitely a member that I don't want to lose. And honestly, I'm gonna, I'd rather keep it till end game. She's gonna be that useful. You know what I mean? Dreadnought is another solution for a tank. But Poseidon is gonna be the go-to Is going to be the go-to tank. For the playthrough. And she can really... She can really take some hits. Not right now as a... That's a mud spray, but definitely when she gets them to a mud dale. Which, speaking of which, she's actually two levels away from getting to actually getting to mud dale. More thinking about it right here. 
So a little bit of grinding. We should be able to get her get her evolved pretty soon, actually. I dare say before. Jeez, I would dare say before uh, the third gen. That's how good it's looking right here. She's setting up the light bird. Um, you know, a little chant right thing right here, and you're just gonna focus on the small prime. Not that I blame you. And dude, I, I don't know why you decided to go over a new pack, but okay, whatever. It's up to you. You want to pick? You want to pick a size out? You can pick a size out. I guess I won't judge too much. I'm already judging enough as I am. Then eh, just whatever. Oh, Mox Jamie's little brother. I guess, I'll, I guess when you get older, I guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. Hmm. Despite for the fact that we yell, we, in the end, we're just not screaming by the time we get defeated. But we're not quite done with the mines yet, as we still got quite a bit to go. And there's a wild dreadnought that we can potentially kill right here. And also a uh, shuffle we, we can also kind of take down, which actually, I don't own it. Shuffle's not going to be able to do anything. Will not be able to do anything to me. So I'm going to go over and quickly kill this thing real quick. <laughs> and that's the end of that shuffle right there. <laughs> got another level up from that and getting scary face, which I'm not going to bother. I mean, flooring screen might not be a bad idea, though it's something I don't really need to do. And I see another bear trap, which I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take the bait right now. Get soft sand, which would be nice, but I'm actually not gonna equip that. And, uh, besides, I'd rather have leftovers, to be honest, as that's so. As I'm having decided to act more of a tank than anything, despite the fact that she's still kind of killing it, as she is. But I mean, if I if I need to have her be offensive, or anything around around the swords, then sure, I can just get rid of the soft sand. That can work. And for the fact that she can almost one shot the stun fist, is holy moly. <laughs> she might actually, actually she might have been able to do it if I actually did give her the soft, give her the soft, the soft sand. But I'm not entirely sure if the stun fist can get sturdy. I don't think it can, but just dang. I didn't think it did. I didn't think it would do that much damage. I didn't. And I could just be teased and not get the level. Well, we're gonna fix that real quick. So, I'll murder this girl again real quick. I guess so. I'll be right back. <laughs> One high horsepower later, girl gets been dead. It's slain. We got ourselves another level. We're getting. We are one level away from Munchdale. And I'm pretty sure we'll, we might actually end up getting it by the time we enter, by the time we leave mines, we're thinking about it. I mean, that would actually be pretty cool if we can do that. That's one thing I can definitely say. I'll be, I will be content with that if we can, if we can pull it off and, um, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the hit. And, I mean, he's not going to do much damage to begin with, as it is much Dale. <laughs> yeah, much Dale. It is much Bray. Pretty good defense. Plus getting, plus having stamina right there, just to raise it up even more. The dick can't, the dick can, dick kind of hurt. I mean, drillers do hit pretty hard, but it wasn't really too bad in the end. Once on once on. Sitting at Onyx. Well. Okay, I'm not gonna make the obvious joke whatsoever. It's not that's not the true gem of the joke whatsoever, and you can just not take too much damage right there and get even fair defense boost though. That's gonna probably flinch. Okay, I didn't actually flinch. Good. And we can get a crit while we're at it. <laughs> I think the high horsepower alone would have just killed it no problem. Then again, who knows? It might, it might have, might have not. Again, just who knows? 
Either way, we get our little TM right here, TM for sand tube, which is something I'm not going to be using, as I don't really find it to be really all that useful to begin with. Um, we got another, another bear trap. <laughs> Stunfist being taken care of, and just the bear trap in general. On uh, Retina and Vigabolt can get a level, and Vigabolt's getting sticky whip, which is pretty much like mean look. It prevents the, the user from switching out, which is something I'm not going to be doing. So it's really just not going to be useful in the end. <laughs> and we can have more bear traps. So don't mind me, I'm just going to get bit by, the, by this thing again. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how we're still gonna be. I don't know how we're still walking after getting bitten by these things. Lord knows how many times at this point, <laughs> but somehow we are. We're somehow still kicking it, still alive. Well, well not well, still alive, definitely, but just able to walk more specifically. <laughs> I mean, it's like I mean, I understand we just kind of move out of the way, just barely before it does anything too threatening, but still. Mm. Got another defense increase, and this double hit should be up. I would, I would say, kick it in the face, but Too well, and we're pretty close to all levels. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go over and murder something real quick. So uh, I'm just kind of grind for a little bit, just so I can get that extra level. So I'll be right back again. A few minutes later, we're back at this point, <laughs> and again, there's so the monster. <laughs> oh boy! Got ourselves an even greater tank. Oh yeah. Let's get ourselves a Muzzdale. Get ourselves an overpowered tank. That's also gonna hit hard. And during that running montage I noticed that I, there was a hidden item there that I didn't grab. So I'm making amends by grabbing it right there. But... Just, just so I can start raising another mod up. Hod run up in the front for now. Just for now. Because I kind of do want to go over and raise them up a little bit more. Do you want to do that at least? Wow, I really, I really just know how much to say right here. <laughs> and, wow, we really, I was like, we really are just that popular. Jeez. Plus, I fire type Pokemon and water type Pokemon in Galarine 2. A lot of Pokemon opponents train against. It's got in lane, goes right, um, goes right in lane, respawn to Soko. Rest at the hotel as it is getting late. Alright then. No promises! We'll be in fire tomorrow! Not how to get there right away, but, mm. So that a lot of, all a lot of gym challengers give up on um, because they just can't be Kobu. You know, fired up too. So, hmm. This will be quite the heated challenge, I guess you could say. This is one way to put it. That call girl from before. Um, you guys must have been I'm um, here on the phone, John. Um, you know about Poke Jobs, right? Um, I do know about Poke Jobs, and it's something I'm not really gonna bother with. I mean, it will help me out, as I can get some pretty good stuff for doing Poke Jobs. But, I don't know. Poke Jobs is something I don't bother with. Just in general. It's something that I just straight up ignore, and I just don't bother doing. It just is. And we're getting ourselves a crow a gun for our gather right here, which is... Mmm. It could be better. Just straight up, it could be. And I think this thing can get, does no, uh, no revenge 
the right off the gate. So I'll switch it off for our Mudsnail. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. I'm um, doing your little Dana Shock, and that just does next to no damage. That's just how tanky Poseidon is, and also how... More, more specifically, just how overleveled Poseidon is at this point. <laughs> That's more of a specific thing. But, we'll go for the double kick. At least lower its HP by so just by a little bit, not by much, by a little bit. I figured the revenge would probably pop up at some point, and that only did 10 damage. Wow. <laughs> you know, for something from a move that does, can do a lot of damage if you get hit by it, when you actually go over and damage the foe, I don't really, un I don't really do a lot of damage right here. It's just not. Let's go over use the nest ball and catch it. There we go. Got ourselves a Krogut, so you guys have, have a suggestion for a name for the Krogut. I'm all down for it. And perfect time to go over and change its name. You can say that much right there. But let's see what this thing has. Has dry skin? <laughs> the ability is good for it. The nature, however, is the complete opposite. It's gonna be a little bit more of a, of a special attacker, but... I'm sorry, Madden's attack is just not good for it. It's not. So it's just gonna chill in the box with everybody else. In that case scenario. If only it was a little bit better, then... Hmm. Who would have known? Who knows? Might have actually wasted it, might have not. And that's a throw that's coming right for my throat. Okay, maybe not quite to my throat, but it's coming right after me all the same. But, we're gonna take down this little madame real quick and having a little yamper right here. So the yamper shouldn't really be able to do too much to me, knowing that yampers only learn physical moves for level up. So we're A-OK. -okay in terms of just kind of dealing with this thing. Let's do the Razor Shell, take this thing down instantly. And really just, the team going is honestly great. Though I will say this right here, I'm probably gonna grind up a little bit more. I don't know, I'm a little grind, a little grind happy today. Give this one a grand for a bit. Though, I don't really need the grand all that much. I mean, the only real mod I need the grand up is Dreadnought. As to be honest, Dreadnought is going to be a great member for the next for the next gen. He's gonna help us out quite a bit. As having both a water type and a rock type helps for the next gen. It does. And for the fact that he's kind of lower level than the rest of the team is a bit of a problem. So I want to go over and fix that if I can. Say not much right there. And my goodness, the, the policeman. <laughs> the policeman in this game. Like, dang. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about the policeman in this game. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just like policemen, a little... Oh, kind of on the stereotypical policeman. And just, well, the fact that they constantly smile is like, I don't know. It's weird. And, for, and just, I don't know, their face is the really, this is the really only real thing that's just kind of like, I don't know, it just, it just feels weird. More specifically. It does. And... I think the same we got a route... Actually, I don't think we got a route at all. On this bridge. I don't think we do. Yeah, we know we don't want to lover, though we do have a pretty good... Pretty big battle coming up all the same. But... Anyways. 
What I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna grind yet again. This is like the second time I'm really doing a grind session and this recording session in general. But I'm gonna grind up for a little while. Um, by the time uh, I get back, uh, we'll head to the Butter, butter Inn, rest up, and just kind of do some stuff in there. So, uh, with that being said, I'll be uh, right back. Alright, after going on and grabbing grinding for a little while, we're, we're finally back at this point. Um, I went over and grabbed everybody up to at least around level 31, 32. Around there, except for Mercillary, as Mercillary, again, it's just gonna be kind of sitting there for a good while until I can finally get something to use to evolve it. But, in terms of new moves, I didn't really learn anything particularly different, so everybody still has about the same moveset and, and all that kind of stuff. And more thinking about it, knowing what's coming up, um, I should probably have a sign up front for reasons. But, at this point, we're gonna head to the Badu Inn, and we are just gonna rest up for a bit. Rest up for the day, and then take on the gym leader from there. Or we can run, in, run into someone that we have not seen in a while. Uh, Challenger Maldade, right? Out giving your, giving your all, even this lady. Hey, help us up for a sec. I want, I want to see, I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Sure. Wait, got some vine in you, huh? And I just love it how the moment you say yes, there's this random team yell grunt in the background, ready to cheer on. <laughs> it also another good thing. Why are there so many good things in this game? Oh my, oh my goodness, Marty's theme is another good theme. It's like, just, all the unique battle themes are good! They are! They straight up are! I love all the unique battle themes. I, don't, I mean, normal battle theme I'm perfectly fine with, I'm perfectly a-okay -okay with, but not to the degree of the unique themes we got right here. Nowhere near that. In fact. Definitely say that right there. It's gonna double kick the Scraggy out of here. And... Well, let me get some, a little bit of DXP from that. Not much, but just a little bit. We'll go up a little bit from that. We have her Morpeko to go against, which... A little bit of trivia right there, um, right here for those who have not seen the stream. Um, for the Pokemon Sh um, Shield Nuz um, Sleep Black Race I did against DJ Dynamo, this was where we ended. <laughs> because this is where the wipe happened. <laughs> because when DJ got to this point, he could he could not get past this Morpeko. He was already kind of in a bind around this point already as he lost quite a bit of mons throughout the um throughout the stream and marty did it and he could not beat marty um i went in a little bit later on during the stream and went over and at least took her down and we just ended up from there <laughs> um I do gotta say that just kind of looking back on that on that stream, just in general, I did have I did have a fun time doing that sleep block race, and I don't know, it was fun to to do a collab, and I would love to do more collabs in the future, either with the same person or just with anybody else. I'm a okay. I'm just that kind. Of, I'm just the kind of guy that kind of hates bothering people. Kind of asks uh, and just kind of asking for stuff like that. I mean, if anybody wants to do collab with me, I am open to that. I am, but I'm most likely or not. I'm not going to be the one asking <laughs> because I just, I just don't like. I just don't really like to ask. I don't. Didn't say that much right there. That friend of yours already went went off to challenge the next gym. 
Keep a sneak charge. It's supposed to help against him, but I ended up getting with a few copies. So okay, I don't, know. I don't know how I got a few co copies, but okay, well, I'll take the card, I guess. And get some burn heals, cause better have burn heal. You better have some burn heals for this. Sure. Um, bet you have no trouble being that man of fire. Uh, keep a champ it, right? Why don't you get to the most of us? Like, you get the gym, gym badge already. I think that sounds exactly what we're gonna do right here and...